Oh, I'm gonna have to rehang all of this. <sighs> Welcome back. If you're here this week, you were probably here last week, and if you weren't, you need to go check out that video because that's where this all, this all started. I decided I need to declutter my life. I've tried to do it a couple times before, and I've never successfully gotten through, especially with my clothes. Now, my clothes are something that every few months, six months to a year, I'll go through and I'll delete, a f delete? <gasps> Throw some it away, but I've never done it like this. So I was watching Tidying Up by Marie. Hold on, pause. Let me just fix my life real quick, everybody. Better. Worse? The same? I was watching Tidying Up. It's this show with this woman named Marie Kondo who has a method of organization and cleaning. I need a light back here, don't I? I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. A better YouTuber might start the intro over. An even better YouTuber wouldn't let my life get here. I'm going to try my very best to get through as much of this as possible tonight, which feels like a lot. Already when I was pulling stuff out, realized there's so much stuff that I don't care about and I can't wait to get rid of, which is good. I'm just ready to... Dude, I just want to declutter everything because I've... I, I... I said this in the last video, but imagine if I was moving and then I had to bring all this stuff with me and it's all trash. I don't even recognize half of these clothes. I don't wear so many of these clothes anymore. What they say to do is only keep the things that spark joy. I don't know how to explain that other than when you look at it, you're just like, oh, I can't wait to wear that or it gives you a feeling inside of excitement. And I have so much stuff in here that for sure doesn't do any of that. So I'm just gonna start going piece by piece. I'm super ready to let go of this fear slash poor girl slash might need this in the future thing that I have going on here because that's what I would say 90% of this stuff is and I'm slowly but surely getting so much better with accepting the fact that I'm not like broke as hell anymore. <laughs> when we were kids, there were a lot of times where there wasn't electricity. We were told all the time we might lose the house and it was just kind of like scary all the time and I was just always worried about money and if I wanted to do something, I had to really, really work for it. I knew that I would have to pay for college, so I didn't ever spend money in high school because I didn't have to pay for college. And then I was in college, I knew I was gonna have to prepare for the real world, so I wasn't treating myself then either. So basically, from the time that I was, I mean, honestly, forever, I was just always saving my money and I never got out of that habit. So that's what a lot of this is. But this sweater, I've had this sweater for so many years. I haven't worn it in so many years. I love it, I think it's so cool. No, need to put it down. It is such a cool sweater though, it's open in the back. Somebody else is gonna love it. And I don't, but wait, it is, nope. <laughs> wait. No. We don't need it. I'm gonna end up keeping a lot of my workout stuff because I go through it so quickly because I wear it every day. These are good workout pants. I wore them a lot. They're comfortable, but also I don't really reach for them anymore because I have so many different workout pants. Already sweating. Wait, I already don't know what the keep pile is. I'll figure it out. I should probably just start from the top of the pile because I keep reaching for sh below because I look at stuff on the top and I'm like, I don't want to deal with that yet. But I have so many pairs of black leggings. I almost feel like I need to put them in a separate pile and then figure out which ones to keep later because I have so many. See, when guys say that girls all have one pair of leggings, I feel like these might have a hole in it. Yeah, these have holes in them. If I knew immediately that they had holes in them, why would I have kept them? Oh, I love these ones. So many just sentiment t-shirts, but I don't wear them. And what are they even a memory fun? <laughs> like this is an Instagram t-shirt. What's the memory? That I have an Instagram? More black leggings. This t-shirt's so gross. I have had this for a decade maybe. I really thought that I was gonna make these happen. These were, they might still happen. I think I need to give these ones another chance because I love wearing men's pants. Are these cool? I'll give them a chance. See, this is a memory tee. Original Vine merch. Wow. Whoa, what a moan. These are extra large leggings and they're so big on me now, but these were my size and now they're not. Wow, I can't believe I even still have these actually. That is tight. Well, no, they're loose, but tight. Had these for way too long. 
This is fun and easy. Dope, we love boy pants. I can't wait for summer to be back. I love working out in shorts so much. There's nothing in these. <laughs> Just flexing on you with my AirPods. For how much I hate navy blue, I have so many navy blue clothes. I'd like to try my hair navy blue though. Great jacket, love this jacket. Navy blue. <laughs> Maybe I don't hate navy blue as much as I thought. This is a boys, which I think is so cute. I just love being a lumberjack. More black leggings. Oh, these are Lululemon. <gasps> Bitch. Oh. I stole these from my best friend in college, Jess Morelli. Now Preskin, she's married. I really don't wear them, but don't I? They're so comfy. Nope, keeping them. But now that I remember they're in my life, I'll wear them, maybe, hopefully. So far, my getting rid of pile is pretty sad. These shorts, I picked them up in my last one. These are from my dance team from high school. Also, what the f is all over them? The paint all over them from when I painted my psycho roommate's kitchen for her, that ungrateful bitch. I held on to them because they're a keepsake from when I was on dance team, but it's taking up so much space. This, I was determined to make work. I found this at Goodwill when I did a video with Lord DIY, and I was like, this is actually cute and I wanna wear it, but never, ever did, not even once. It's a plain black tee. You guys remember the band Plain White Tees? Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? You're a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty, yes you do. That was mine and my boyfriend's in high school, our song, but also we had a hundred songs, like any emo love song that came out, we're like, oh, our song. Is it time for this to go? It doesn't spark joy. This is my grandmother's ugliest color on the planet, but I love it so much. Quintessential Grandma Norma. I sure do have a lot of winter stuff for living in Los Angeles. Oh, I think it's time to let go of this bad boy too. It was cool for a minute, but can you see me in this now in 2019? Is that the year? Yeah. Everybody loves me in this. I just went all winter without wearing it. No, I still like it. Do I? Yeah. This is one of my favorite shirts that I forgot existed, so I'm happy I just found it. This is a vintage Pittsburgh Penguins hoodie tee. Oh, this has spots all over it. <gasps> I forgot about this. I can't believe I went all winter without wearing this sweater. What are all these? There's brown splatters on a lot of my jackets and stuff. It was on that one too, it's so weird. Stuff like this I have such a hard time letting go of because I love 21 Pilots, but I'm not like a fangirl like that that's gonna walk out in a 21 Pilots sweater. I wore it to the 21 Pilots concert and that's all that matters. Damn, I can't believe I went this whole winter season without wearing this. Wow, this looks so much different on me now than it used to. I remember I bought this because Trisha Paytas did a Target haul, I think. No, Old Navy. I literally went to Old Navy to buy this jacket because I loved it so much in her haul. Nostalgia. I'll never wear this hoodie, but it's original Vine merch. Can't get rid of it. See, original Vine merch. I'm not gonna wear this anytime soon, but can't get rid of it. Drop the mic, again, nostalgia. Can't get rid of it. But why can't I? This jacket was merch that I made originally. Don't know how I got away with it. Definitely illegal. Very shady company, very shady business practices. That I'm gonna get rid of. This I held on to for a very long time. I'm finally ready to let it go. See, that's an example of if I was just going through my closet, I never would have gotten rid of either of those things. Original Vine merch. Actually, I still wear this one on the regular. What are these spots though? Is this cool to wear or not? It's a Snapchat sweater. Kind of cool, right? I'll give it a chance. This is some of that original The Gabby Show merch that never saw the light of day. Whoa, you know what's fun to think about? Say I get huge in music and my career takes off and now I'm like this big musician. And then a hundred years from now, no, that's aggressive. 50 years from now, people are trying to collect my old original merch. That'd be crazy. And then one person in the whole world is gonna have that tank top. But they'll probably have gotten rid of it by then because they'll have grown up and been like, F this bitch. Is it supposed to be three quarter sleeve? Is this a child's trench coat? I have so many questions. But we keep, it smells bad. Oh my God, these are the pants from Medicaid, which I low key really actually like as pants because I love men's pants. <laughs> Original merch, never saw the light of day. This is so cute. I just don't see it working for me, but I don't know. I could see a photo shoot in this maybe. That's a problem, honestly. When I say problem, I use the, the term very loosely. Sometimes it's hard to let stuff go just because you're like, oh, I might need that for a video. That might be nice for a photo shoot, a costume piece later or something. Part of the reason I am where I am today.
I have shirts like this that I hate them. I don't like the way they fit. Every time I wear them, I regret wearing them. But for some reason, it's one of my go-to pieces that I always put on. And then as I'm wearing it, I'm like, why did I wear this? Does anybody else do that? Or is that the most unrelatable thing you ever heard? But I just want to get it out of my life so I stop wearing it. Because <laughs> I don't like it any time that I've ever worn it. <sighs> one of my biggest regrets in life is ruining this t-shirt. It's from the 90s. What a cool t-shirt this would have been in 2019 if I wouldn't have cut it up and ruined it. I'm not gonna get rid of it. That's so bleak, dude. I've not worn that since high school. Remember when I said that this was gonna be my new look and I really enjoyed it and then I never wore it again? I need to stop holding on to stuff that I just sleep in because, huh? No, not taking it out of the trash pile. It's already there. Why did I cut so many t-shirts? And tell me how I have two of these sloth shirts. And I'm pretty sure I gave one to my ex-boyfriend and I want neither of them because they remind me of my ex-boyfriend. I'm not gonna lie, my throwaway pile down here isn't as big as I'd like it to be compared to what I'm keeping. What if I'm a monster? Oh, this is my grandma's. I keep... This was a gift from a boy. <laughs> this was also a gift from a boy. Whoa! Haven't seen these in a cool minute. So, cool merch, but I'll never wear it. Will I? We'll let it go. <gasps> but comfy? Hmm, sure is comfy. Hmm, I keep it. It's a lot of dust right now. Oh, such a good shirt. I'll never wear it again, so I'm gonna let it go, but I loved this shirt. I remember it made me feel so thin. When I wasn't that thin, it just like shaped me very well. This one's hard to let go of, but thank you and goodbye. <clears throat> I need an allergy pill. I think I need a little bit of cleanup, start over, get some sh put away, sorted, and then come back to this pile. Cause right now everything's just this is where we are right now. This is the pile of Tossies. This is the pile of Keepies. <laughs> and that's the pile of like keepsakey things that I'm trying to figure out what to do with and I'll go through later. I'm realizing I don't think I'm being picky enough. So far, I've just been tossing stuff that I don't like as opposed to only keeping stuff that sparks joy. So I need to like do more. This is already the keep pile which is a mountain, which it's mostly jackets and sweaters and coats to be fair, but I still have all of this. So I have to be more picky with what I'm keeping and I'm probably gonna have to go through this one more time too now that I'm grasping it. This Medicaid sweater, kind of sad that I had to tear it up because it was such a good sweater. Made well, I love made well, dude, it's so good. It's made very well. I'm tired, I think I need a break. I guess I could start hanging up some of this stuff. I think that'll make me feel better. I'm gonna hang up some of this stuff. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half and this is where I am right now. I feel like it's gonna look worse before it looks better because everything's getting spread out a little more. My throat's so tight from all the dust in there. Here are the clothes. I'm getting rid of so far, which is actually pretty significant. I've gotten really good at this point. If I don't love it, don't keep it. And I'm throwing away stuff and I'm like, wow, I can't believe I would throw that away. Like this piece right here. It's this really pretty white jumper. I'll see if I can find a picture in it. I wore it so many times and it used to look so good on me and was so flattering on me, but it just doesn't fit me at all anymore. And I've also worn it so many times. And I was trying to think, why can't I get rid of this? And I realized, I think it's because it was one of, first of all, the first things that I bought that like, kind of cost a lot of money. It wasn't even that much, but it was more than I was used to allowing myself to spend on clothes. And it was also one of the first things that I bought where I felt good in my body and I felt like it made my body look so nice and I always felt so confident in it, but that's not how I feel in it anymore. It doesn't fit well, it's too loose. So this is one of those items that I really had to be like, thank you and goodbye to this item because it like makes me kind of sad to leave it. I don't know why, I mean, I guess just, all of the reasons that I just told you why. I can't believe the whole taking everything out thing is actually as effective as it is because seeing everything out like this really does make you wanna just throw shit away. <laughs> I feel like I can get through this now. When I'm done, I'll show you everything that I went through. That <laughs> sounds so dramatic. I'm gonna show you what I've been through. I'm so tired. <laughs> just reached the first pile that I put down of these sweaters, yes, we're ignoring all of this in the moment, but let me have this moment. We've reached the bottom of the pile. Okay, 
delirious now. This is where I'm leaving off for the night. Bed is clear once I take that off. And this is what we're still working with behind us. Uh, all of my drawers right now are empty. So I think this is enough for tonight. I think this is decent progress. Yeah, this will be so easy to finish tomorrow. Oh, my face is itchy. I gotta go to bed. Good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. I just woke up. I slept on the couch because last night I tried to sleep in here. It was so dusty. My throat is still closed. It's a lot of dust right now feeling kind of sick but this doesn't seem that daunting to me which is insane because look at it i feel like i can tackle that easily today after i go train and hopefully grow this pile a little bit more it feels more significant than it was yesterday but yeah that's a lot of clothes right i'm excited to count them not that excited to count them because it's gonna take a long time but excited to count them because fun whoa it's like 7 p.m and i just woke up from a nap i went to the gym this morning and I had no energy. It took me two and a half hours to do half a workout. I am so determined to finish this room right now. I thought I was gonna spend all day on it, but I spent all day on sleeping instead. I think it's the dust. I feel like the allergies and being awake all night <laughs> really screwed me, but time to do this. I am I got this. I should find something to protect my mouth from the dust too, but I feel like every piece of cloth I have is covered in dust. I'll be back. It's like I'm going to Coachella. Over it. <laughs> Update! It's 8.30. It feels like it should be much later because it feels like I've been doing this forever. I have made a significant dent in my t-shirt drawers, which you guys saw before. were absolutely overflowing and disheveled and impossible to see what was in there. And this is what I've got it down to for now. I think there's still some more t-shirts hiding, but right now I'm completely exhausted, exacerbated, exacerbated, <laughs> done with folding. I have not worn this bra in maybe three years. It doesn't fit anymore. Ew, it has like sweat stains under the boob. That's disgusting. Wash that before donating. Just went in my toilet. The throwaway pile is starting to rival the pile pile. <laughs> Gonna sort through this stuff. I think my next check-in will hopefully be when everything is put into its respective place. I just organized all of my jewelry and cleaned out my jewelry boxes and this was so full of stuff I didn't even know what was in there and it's usable and this was overflowed with a bunch of tangled stuff this was a mess this was completely full of stuff this was com well this is still full of stuff <laughs> this is empty now Kind of not empty, but I know exactly what's in there and it's just things from when I travel to put my jewelry in. And now, because I'm in this zone, I just want to tackle this. So this is my little before of this mess of dresser. I don't even know what's in here. It's supposed to be my writing desk and art but it's... What? It is the end of day three. And I didn't know if I would ever reach this point. And I'm gonna be honest, if I didn't need the content so badly, I probably wouldn't have. Just like I never have in my entire life. But we did need the content and we did get here. And I really forced myself to get through this because there were quite a few moments where I was so over it, but I, I really threw myself into this and let me just show you i guess this is my room so freaking clean oh do you hear that down there we did have some casualties we lost a few good men all in the name of the good cause <laughs> i predict i'm going to break a lot of hangers on accident let us have a moment of silence for our fallen martyrs i will remember you Will you remember me? Don't let your life pass you by. Time to peek the closet. Look at all of this extra space that doesn't even have clothes. Look, I could never do this before. There's extra space, guys. <laughs> That's amazing. Usually they're so jam packed, I can't use any of them. Let's check the other side super organized and down here 
is completely empty except for spare hangers, which, you know what, those are just gonna stay there. But yeah, that is pretty drastic. But this, I'm gonna need you to prepare yourself for this because I think you're really gonna like it. And um, <laughs> just try not to scream too loudly. Ready? And now. Oh! 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 Oh my god, I can see them all. They're all accessible. They're significantly less. We still have this side though. But I really narrowed down my t-shirt collection. I've really kept what's important to me. Toss stuff that I don't even know why I had it. And then here's pants. I have these big sweatpants sitting on top because I don't belong anywhere else, but these are just like sweatpants, worky pants, and shorts, and I got rid of so many black leggings, but these are the ones that made the cut. These are all my winter sweaters. I ran out of space back here, but they're so big that I figured they could just kind of live here. The store was always closed anyway. Undies, don't look. Dude, I have so many underwear because, girl, I do not like to do laundry. I will wear a pair of jeans 15 times and not wash them and I don't care, but obviously you have to change your underwear every day. So I just buy a lot of underwear so I don't have to do laundry. And this bad boy, show before baby. <laughs> and here's just like notebooks, post-its, stuff like this. I also have another desk in my actual office that I haven't used because it's so crowded, but I might actually sit and like take notes here. I don't know, what do you? What do you do at writing desks? My room right now has literally, in my entire life, I'm talking birth, high school, college, adult life, has never been more clean, more efficient, more organized. I've never known where everything was. I can feel the energy in this room just being so open and clear, and I'm just excited and more comfortable to be in here. I don't have to worry about opening stuff and digging through like everything's just here and it feels so good it was so worth it here's the thing though it did take me three pretty much full days and this is my job like i'm getting literally paid to go through my own clothes and post this video if i had a regular job where i had to go to the office every day if i had kids if literally anything other than this being my job was the situation. I could see myself having a lot of trouble with this. I could see it taking a lot longer. I could see it being very overwhelming because this is all I had to do and it was very overwhelming. But if you're at home and you're somebody who has a lot of stuff and it feels like it's just cluttering up your life and your mind and your heart, try to take a weekend, take two weekends and just do it. I'm so happy that I've done this and started this process before I move into a house, before I have like kids. It's great and yes, I am I'm very grateful that I get to make it content as well. This is my second closet. If you remember my closet before, it's f***ing disgusting. Very disorganized, very inaccessible. And this is it now. Workout shorts, workout leggings, grandma's vintage that I will do very, very last. All those ugly workout t-shirts that I had folded. I only picked the few that I actually always pulled out, hung them so they're easily accessible. Workout jackets. These are my workout sets that are paired together. These are all of my workout bras hats, scarves, swimsuits. Now I'm gonna show you the stuff I'm getting rid of. It's shocking and so satisfying and honestly pretty unbelievable, but this is the stuff that is going. Wait, are you guys old enough to know Jaws? If you're watching organizational videos, maybe. But here we go, <gasps> wait. I need Irene's reaction. I'm gonna show Irene real quick. Listen, <laughs> how many times do I open the door and we're wearing the same thing, first of all? So weird, we yeah. have to stop. Second of all, Second I of all, I've been crying all day, so my eyes are puffy. Whoops. Oh my God, why, because you missed me? Yeah, in my dead dad. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Wait, I'm so stoked. Are you ready? Are you? Oh, I'm ready, I've been staring at it for two days. Do you see it from a distance? No, I just saw all these. Oh, this is trash. Okay, come on in. Hold on, wait. This is like when my parents still love me and filmed me on Christmas morning. Bitch, it's as tall da, as da, you, da, bitch! Da, 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 da. Oh my god, it's so wide! <laughs> oh my god, me. Oh my god, me! <laughs> Dude! There's a lot going on. How did you 
Who was she? Who is she? Who is she becoming? I'm trying to pull my shit together, I already. Whoa, dude! Oh, the pile extends all the way over here also. So let's give him a full scope. Wait, scroll. holy crap! I can't get it all in frame. That's how big it is. It's literally- I can't, Dude, I can't get it all in frame. This is insane. Oh, here we go. Wait. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. This is the biggest thing I've ever seen. Okay, I've so- I've looked in a mirror. <laughs> I threw away more items than I kept. Isn't that crazy? Noobs. <laughs> so I did a little count. <gasps> you did a count! Wait, was my yeah. number right? I'm gonna guess you have 738 pieces. It was a little low. You shot a little low. I kept 419 pieces. I can't believe you- first of all, I can't believe you counted. I had to. Of course. You're gonna see why it was so easy. Second of all- Was this a brain deal? I threw away 498. <laughs> That's crazy. That's- That's- Sick as hell. Now let me show you why it was so easy for me to count. Let's go into my room, Irene. I'm so proud of you. Okay, are you ready? This is so much crap. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of it, but whatever. Oh wait, I've never seen your carpet. Dude, enter <laughs> sesame. <laughs> <laughs> it's so clean, dude. Oh my god. It's otherworldly clean, and it's not fake clean. No. It's like real clean. Like open that. Open it. I'm a little bit embarrassed because I'm just now realizing that I am getting props and people are congratulating me for being a normal adult human being. That's not true. That's not a fact. No, like for sure, this is embarrassing, right? We're proud of you for not being a slob. But like, but here's the thing also, is you had a lot of stuff and it takes a lot to get rid of stuff and true. you just didn't have a lot of space to put it. So like, true. if you had a house, it wouldn't have looked like so much. Okay, but are you ready? Okay, you sent me like a quick come pick. On, come on, come on, come on, come on. Also, living for your makeup situation. <gasps> ah! <laughs> I'm not wearing makeup except eyebrows and lashes. I'm living for it. That's what I'm saying. Holy bitch, what is this? What is this bitch? Empty space. Empty space, bitch! Hey, Gabby Jeanette, Hannah. Love the Gabby Jeanette. I am so freaking proud of you. And then here's winter. I love this one sweater. <laughs> <laughs> so this place is like actually spotless. Dude, I was so in it. I was like moving out my dresser and vacuuming under the dresser. <gasps> That's Did you how... rug doctor under the dresser? No, but if you would have seen the dust underneath, <laughs> dude, it was so crazy. But okay, other closet. Oh wait! Wait, 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 wait! This oh, is God. sick. Significantly less. Oh. Only the coats and sweaters this that I like, actually wear. This is like house porn. It's been hard to not start on everything else because I know I need to document it and film it. I mean, I don't need to, but <laughs> but don't okay. I? But it's been hard not to keep cleaning because it's so addictive. Well, you've sent so texts at very funny hours of the night being like, it's happening, or like, <laughs> I want to die, or like, I'm so proud. <laughs> this part's so messy, but look at my workout closet. It smells kind of sweaty in here, though. It's kind of hot. Love that. It's so, like pheromones. Dude, I rocked it out. You did such an unbelievable job as we walk over this. Right? <laughs> Don't step on the glass. Uh, you did such a fantastic Thank job. Thank you. I'm, I can't believe this. She sent me no pictures of like how big it got. There was like a small picture and she sent me, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of enough stuff. And then, I got to, you're right. You can't get it in the frame. Yeah, you really can't. I did a little final thoughts, so let's, Go to that. And we're back. Anyways, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the post notifications, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. This is this week's showstopper of the week. Thank you so much for all your support. It's very much appreciated. As always, I love you very much. Thanks for being a part of my family and I'll see you next time. It's a big moment for me. As I was going through the sweaters and jackets a second time, which I still need to do, I found this and I put it in the goodbye pile because why do I have it? I'm a different girl. I eat hamburgers <laughs> and I also wear them. I don't care about clothes. <laughs> I was gonna say something. What? I have no idea. Okay. Are you wet? Are you wet? Or are you dripping, bitch? But also, eh. Did you wear these actually unironically? Yes. I have a video in them. Is it, look at my f pants, everybody? <laughs> Is that the title? <laughs> Emotional? Listen, you better f right Yeah, off. I can listen. Uh, <laughs> my mouth is so dry, though. The f Do you hear how dry my mouth is? <laughs> All right, so the thing I was saying before about... That's not what I was saying before. Oh, I can get through the clip. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>